blog in Total CMS changes everything. Hey everybody, Joe Workman here, and today I am excited, like really deep down excited to show you blog for Total CMS. It has been in the works for eight months now. Can't believe it, right? It's been eight months since I started the first line of code for the blog, uh, since I released the initial version uh, 1.0 of Total CMS. And Man, is it just awesome. Now it's been an open public beta for many, many months, and I'm excited to show you some really stellar implementations of it today. Now, I'm not gonna dive deep down into every single nook and cranny, right? Today, in this video, we're gonna be looking over a general overview of what blog is, a general overview of how we can implement it, and then if you need more details, we're going to create specific videos about each individual component of the blog because it upon its, you know, on its own is a full fledged complex product that really is a game changing product uh, for rapid weaver, right? Again, it provides a full online blogging experience um, for rapid weaver, right? It is awesome. And um, some users are even th using it outside of the box for other things. And we'll see some examples of that as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in and see some amazing implementations of blog for Total CMS. And here we are on the general demo of the Total CMS website, okay? So if you go to blog page, this is exactly what you'll see. Now, um, this is just a generic blog with some, you know, generic data that I've, I've added myself, okay? But what you'll notice is we have a beautiful card layout. And what you'll see is that every single blog post here potentially has multiple images, and it's automatically creating a slideshow of those images to be displayed to the user. This is a really great feature. And there's a lot of different layout options that you can do. If you don't want a slideshow, you can show a grid of images. You can only show one image, right? I mean, there are a lot, there's a lot of flexibility in this layout. And this is the cards layout. We'll see that there are other list-based layouts that you can do as well. Next, you'll notice on this page that we have a nice little sidebar here where we can actually search through our entire blog. We can quickly filter by things such as tags and authors. And then we can also click on links to actually go to that particular filter as well. So these links are based on category. So if I click on the vacation link here, what you'll notice is it takes me to the page and filters my blog posts to show me only the blog posts that are inside the vacation category. Now there are a lot of other options that we can do for filters and links, right? But this gives us a great idea of what we can really use the blog for and all the powerful features that it has that we want from a, what a traditional blog gives us. Now, if we jump over to the admin interface, we'll see how easy it is to edit and add new blog posts. So here I am on the general demo admin page. And as you see here, I have a list of all of my current blog posts. Here we'll notice that I can mark a blog post as draft. I can set it as featured. I can delete that blog post and then get links directly to it, as well as links directly to the RSS feed for my blog. You'll see that I can quickly glance at all the tags and categories. Okay, and If I want to edit that blog post, I simply click on that and it takes me to the form that allows me to edit that blog post. Now here we see on the form, we can easily modify all of this text with the Hipwig editor. We can uh, use tags, right? We have a nice auto completion for uh, tags if you wanna add new tags and things of that nature, right? Um, authors, uh, you can set things as draft and featured, and then you can add as many photos as you want to the blog post gallery. Every single blog post can have as many images as you'd like. They all have their own each individual gallery. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump over into the soccer demo that is on the CMS website. And if we scroll down here, you'll notice that the recent games section is actually powered by the blog, 
Okay. I've only displayed two games right now. Okay. But each of these is a blog post. And as you see, just like the other example, um, it is, it does have a slideshow that shows multiple images for each game. And if we were to view the match details here, what you'll see is that this is the individual blog post page, and we can really integrate the details from our blog post throughout our blog page. You'll notice that up here at the title, I have the title of my blog post. Here is the summary, okay? Here I have the full-blown contents of that blog post. Further down here, I have the image gallery, and if you were to click on an image, you can view that entire gallery, okay? And then over on the sidebar, we have related matches. So these are related blog posts to the one that we're seeing here. So you can display blog posts that have the same tag or maybe the same category, right? This way you can actually keep users interacting with your blog posts and displaying and having them keep reading your posts that are related to the ones that are currently on. Now next up is a stellar implementation of Total Blog. This is probably the first site that went live that used Total Blog to its extent. And I have to say that I'm, I love this website. It is a masterclass website for acting. And to be honest, this site could put on a masterclass on how to implement Total CMS because everything about this site is managed by Total CMS and the blog. As you'll see here, there are multiple blog lists on the homepage. So we have latest news, we have upcoming classes, right? And what's great is while there is one blog for the entire site, we can differentiate these posts by tags. So in this case, the latest news uh, posts have a tag of latest news. Now here on the what's on page, it's using a blog post for each event. And this particular blog list here is displaying the next future events that are available. And if we look at the ticket offers, you'll see that we can see even more events that are available to purchase tickets for. Now the next site we're gonna look at is Bridge from Hipster Weaver. Now this isn't just a website. This is actually a project theme that you can purchase and see exactly how Hipster Weaver, or John here, has implemented uh, Total CMS and Foundation in a beautiful site. And then you can take that and leverage that for your own purposes, right? So here's the blog page inside the Bridge uh, theme. And what you'll notice here is at the top, he's using impact. And the impact stack integrates with Total CMS blog so that you can dynamically display your blog posts inside a beautiful slider. So as you add new blog posts, this slider is gonna automatically be updated to contain the latest blog posts. That is really powerful. And if we look further down, we can see a nice, beautiful card layout for each blog post that he has set up here. Now, as you see, when we go to an individual blog post inside Bridge, you'll notice that the background image of the page actually is used from one of the background images in the gallery of that blog post. It's very powerful. He has a nice video, embedded video in the blog post, as well as all the images from the gallery available right there to be viewed. Now the last example that we're gonna look at is another project theme, this time from Johan Abitz. And it is the Iceland theme. And this actually, you can see a nice list layout for the blog. Again, it's a little bit different than cards, right? Where we have a lot of flexibility in terms of listing each one on top of each other, okay? He also has a beautiful card layout option here as well. So there we go, that was just a glimpse, really just a glimpse at what we can accomplish using Total Blog. There are so many different layouts that we can do in the cards and in the list layouts, right? In terms of it's completely customizable. You can put, you know, you can add colors, you can add backgrounds, you can have two column layout, you can have image on top of the text, right? It is completely up to you. You have full freedom in terms of the design of your blog list layout. Now, as for the blog post page, you can add whatever you want, right? You can put your data anywhere you want. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention is it has full integration for social sharing. So all the, the Facebook meta tags that you need for when a blog post is posted on Twitter or Facebook, right? 
all of the metadata is in the web page already for you so that you don't need to worry about doing that. So that it adds the summary of the blog post as the description. It gets an image and adds that as the share image, right? So that when your posts are shared on social networks, you have beautiful share sheets already configured on everything. It's really, really cool. So as we saw, Total Blog has all of the features that we expect to see inside a traditional blog. We have search, we have the ability to have tags and filtering our blog posts, right? We can add multiple lists on our page. We can click through and see a blog post, right? We can set blog posts as drafts. We can set them as featured blog posts so that they always show at the top or the bottom or, or maybe you wanna style featured posts a little bit differently, right? We have thought about everything. We have been testing and developing this for over eight months. And over those eight months, we've had users building live blog sites using this and we've integrated all of the feedback that they've ever wanted, right? This really is the ultimate blogging solution for RapidWeaver. Now, you might think, is this hard to implement? How do I implement this in RapidWeaver? What needs to be done? Is it simple? Yes, it is. Let's check it out. So here we are inside RapidWeaver, and you'll notice that inside the total CMS stacks, there are two blog admin stacks. There are a blog form and the blog list. Then if we look at the content stacks, there is a blog filter, a blog list, and a blog post, okay? What are all of these used for? Essentially, the blog is made up into four separate components. We have two main components on the admin side, right? One is the ability to list out our blog posts, right? So we can see all of the ex existing blog posts and maybe you know, delete them or edit them or you know, set as draft or set as featured as we saw before, right? So that's as simple. It's just a simple list of what blog posts are currently saved in the CMS. Now the next component of the admin uh, side is the form, the ability to add new blog posts as well as edit existing blog posts. Now, I suggest that the form piece be its own dedicated web page. It just makes it simple and clean, okay? So you can have your, your blog list with all of your other you know, admin components. So if you're you know, managing other images or text throughout your site, you can easily just have a little blog section on the admin area so you can list out all of your blog posts, okay? However, you probably wanna separate the form so that it's, that it's on its own extra page. Now, the next two components are on the content side. Okay, so again, admin side, we have the list and the form. On the content side of things, we have the blog list, right? Which really isn't just a list. It's that card layout or that blog list layout where, you can, where your customer actually sees all of your blog posts. That's probably gonna be on your homepage or, or your main blog page. The next component, okay, is going to be the blog post. This is the actual details of the blog post. So if someone clicks on a link on your, your, your main blog page, they wanna view all of the actual details of that blog post, okay? Those are traditionally gonna be on two separate pages, right? You're probably gonna have a dedicated page for your blog posts details, okay? This is gonna be a page where you, know, you have the blog title as the H1 and all that jazz, right? Now, as you saw earlier, you can have blog lists on your blog post page, okay? And that's when we use to actually, uh, we use the blog list and the sidebar to show related posts and things of that nature, right? So that, that's powerful, okay? So that you can then show lists of other blog posts on your blog post detail page to link to other blog posts on your site. So you're gonna have four separate pages. Let's jump back into RapidWeaver so we can kind of see that live inside RapidWeaver. So here we are again back in RapidWeaver and this is the demo project that ships with Total CMS. So you can see exactly how all of this is done and how it's all laid out, okay? So here we're gonna look at the content side first and that is this first blog page. And this contains the blog list. So if we preview this page, this is gonna be basically the homepage of your blog that is gonna list out all of your blog posts for you. 
Now, I also have the blog filter stack in the sidebar, right? But the main thing about this page is that it contains a blog list. It is a way that your customers can view all of your blog posts. Now, one thing I didn't mention earlier is actually that you can actually configure infinite scrolling and load more so that you, you want your page to load fast, so maybe you only wanna load four blog posts, but your customers can actually view older blog posts through either infinite scrolling or you know clicking on a load more button. Now, when, we, when the customer clicks through, we need to set up the blog post page. So this is the blog post page, and this page controls the individual blog post. Again, it contains the details for a single blog post that your customer is going to be viewing. Now what's great is you set up one blog post page and it's gonna be used for all of your blog posts, right? So again, we're dynamically inserting the data for you um, on the website, on the fly, when the customer requests it. It's very great. Now here we are on the admin side and let's go through the two components, the two pages that are required for your admin. Now on your main CMS admin page, you can add the blog admin list stack, okay? This allows you to have this nice list where you can actually view all of your existing blog posts, edit them, delete them, or create new blog posts, okay? Now you're gonna link these obviously to the form so that when you click on to edit a post or you click on this button to create a new blog post, okay? It's gonna take you to the form page, which is the last page. Now on this last page, it contains the form that we're gonna to use to create a new blog post. Now the CMS does some magic so that when you, it knows when you wanna edit a blog post and it will pre-fill all of this data with an existing blog post so that you can edit that blog post as well. But this one same page is used for adding new blog posts as well as editing existing ones. Now, if you're curious how any of these layouts were built, remember that this entire project file is available for download at any time. So I hope that gives you some, um, you know, some clarity on how you can implement and the pages required to implement Total Block. Now, again, I'm gonna do individual uh, videos on you know, the admin list and the admin forms and then the content blog list and the filter as well as the individual blog post page, right? So I'm gonna be doing individual videos on all of those, right? Because there are a lot of settings and a lot of options. It's a lot of power in this product. But again, this was just the primer to kind of get you um, used to what kind of entails in the blog, what we can do with it okay, and the pages and the things required to get started. So from here on, go through and check out the other videos so that you can uh, dive in and learn even more. I'm really excited about blog. I'm, I can't wait to see all of the other sites out there that allow you to build things you could never have dreamed of before in RapidWeaver, right? Because of stacks, we can now customize the entire look of our blog page and not have any crazy hacks of maybe blogging on something else and importing it in and, right? It's all native, it all just works. And it's so awesome. <laughs> so without further ado, jump in, check out more of the videos or dive in and just start playing with blog because it's awesome. Now, one more thing I should add is that all of this sample data that you saw and you see inside the demos are, is all available for download as well. So if you don't wanna take time to you know, generate fake blog data to kind of play around with it, right? I totally get that, okay? So I've all, I have a download supply of the default demo data. So you can just download that, throw it on your server, and you can go ahead and start playing today, right? You don't need to try to create dummy blog data, it's all there, okay? Um, so enjoy the beautiful pictures that I took. I didn't take all of them, but some of them are awesome. Some of them are mine, some of them are not. But anyway, okay, <laughs> take care, love blog, check out the other videos, and I can't wait to see what you build. So make sure you share it on Weaver Space and submit your designs to the uh, Weaver Space Design Gallery uh, when you're done. I can't wait to see them. So thank you very much, everybody. Take care and enjoy.